Hello and welcome to a new video about programming Arduinos. This time we are going to read an analog input. We are going to use our potentiometer here. Uh, here is our potentiometer. And we will try to plug it into our breadboard. And now it's, let, it's getting a little bit more, let's say, tricky. Of course, we could simply plug in our, our connectors next to the holes next to it. But then it's not working that reliable. You will see, you can try it, you will see. I will try to press this part into the same hole as the legs of the potentiometer. This is not that easy task, yeah? but it's working. Yeah? And then it's working much more reliable. Here, the, the middle connector, I will connect to A0. Okay? So, this is our analog input. And then we should also connect uh, plus and minus. On which side is plus and on which side is minus does not really matter. Yeah. Uh, good. Plus is connected. And also minus I'm going to connect now. Okay, minus is also connected. Plus and minus. That's it. And then we have this little handle. Huh? This little handle. I will plug this here into. Huh? Then we can turn our potentiometer rather easy. Huh? Now this is our setup. And we want to read in the value from the potentiometer. Huh? So between here and here, we do have ten, uh, 5 volts, of course because we connected here plus minus as a plus 5 volt and ground. And here we can select between plus 5 volt and 0 volt. Okay? And this we want to see in our program. And therefore we are starting the program. We are opening a new, a new uh, sketch. Okay? Save this under this name. Save as programs uh, which one was the last 11 so I'm using 12 analog in save okay what things we need what are the things we need uh, of course this time we do not even need to use a uh, pin mode because the analog pins are automatically inputs. Yeah? So in setup currently we're doing nothing. However, we will use serial begin 9600 and I will use serial.print some message print line init Done. Okay. What we are going to read in, we are going to read in an unsigned integer uh, because it's a value, we are expecting values between 0 and 1023 because our analog digital converter is converting 0 to 5 volts to 0 to, 1, 0 to 1023. So I will call this Anna in and I will immediately assign analog input. I read analog read, of course. Yeah. Input analog read. Yeah. And now the pin number, pin number is zero. Yeah. Analog pin zero. I will also, even if it does not really make sense, uh, I will use a compile time constant. I will use it. Body, potentiometer, and this is zero. Potty in. Potty training. <laughs> Potty in. Okay, we're reading this. And we want to put it out. Serial print value. Serial dot print line. A9. And then we will delay a little bit that we are not filling up 
let's say 100 milliseconds should be enough then every every tenth of a second we are putting something out so upload not available why is that because i forgot to plug in <laughs> plug in of course bim bidi bim now it should work yes it's working zero monitor open value zero okay so we will now i will now turn ah it's going up the more i turn the more i get and now 1023 exactly what we're expecting between zero and 1023 good yeah good now I will also try now to, to calculate a little bit. So I will make a float, a float, and this is percent. And this, how do we calculate this in percent? Well, we are, and if we are, if we are doing like this, if we make a bracket and float, then this is already trans, Furring an answered integer into float variable. Float variables are numbers with commas. Floating point. Okay, floating point variable. This is why they are called float. And this command here casts the analog in into a float. It will simply translate the value into a floating point value. Because I want to have the floating point value, I will immediately translate this into a floating point value. And then what have we do? Have we got to do? We multiply it with 100 because we want to have in percent and divide it by 1023. Huh? And I will also put this out. Zero print. Let's open a bracket there. Serial.print percent zero dot print line and then percent sign close the bracket and that's it upload upload let's see what is uh, there's something wrong here, yeah, forgot the bracket. Upload, upload. <laughs> Open the serial monitor, and now we should see haha, 42%. Now we should see it between 0%. Right, good, 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 good. And 100%. Cool. Huh? Now I have percent village. And of course, we could also, we could also. Uh, use voltage because we are measuring voltage actually so we could calculate also the voltage so this means print bracket zero dot print and this is percent multiplied by 5 divided by 100 eh? This is now the voltage because 100% are 5 volts. Volts. Upload. Ah, forgot to close the bracket. Ah, this is the little things. Yeah. yeah, now it looks better. Now we see even how many volts we are measuring there. Zero volts. Now 0 0.556 volts. Yeah. And we're going up, up to 5 volts. Yeah. Of course, we will get to know different versions 
of measurements, uh, which are using exactly that principle. Then we are not calculating volts out of these read-in values, but for instance, brightness yeah? or, or uh, temperature, uh, typical value. Temperature, by the way, is the one we are doing in the next video. Yeah? Next video, we will use a very similar approach to measure temperature. We could also combine, you could also combine this analog input with the analog output. Analog output, yeah. So you could make a dimming light, yeah. Like we've done in last with the push button, now with a turning knob to dim a LED. Yeah? You can try this, turn the knob and make the LED brighter or less bright. I think you can manage it easily. Yeah? And like I said, then in next video, we are going to use exactly an, an, a very close variant of this, but with two separate resistors to measure temperature. They are using one fixed resistor and one resistor which is changing its value because of the ambient temperature, of the temperature of the resistor. Yeah, how this is working and how we are calculating out of this analog value at temperature, we will learn in the next video. For this time, thank you very much for listening. Goodbye.